What is up, everybody? I am Dag here, and today, yes, that's that time, unboxing of this new expansion of Villainous Wicked to the Core. Yes, I ordered that one on February 7th, 2019, on payday, which I did not realize that first ex expansion is going to come out. That caught me by surprise. Nice. As you tell, now, if you thought, hey, no, I thought Creole DeVille would be on this for first expansion. No, it's the Evil Queen. Like, as you can tell, look at that. A little apple on that one. But, yes, uh, there are three new villains of this one. And, yes, in the background, I have Rockstar Freddy and Rockstar Foxy. Yeah, I got those from uh, GameStop. Uh, Yada yada yada. But hey, I'm trying to get seven more, but hey, I'm doing this one or two at a time. I'm, I'm carefully gonna get that sooner or later. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Well, actually, yeah, it says wicked to the core. So let's open this bad boy up and see what the condiments are inside. The condiments, yeah, you know. Yeah, you know, items or whatever. So let's open this up. And see what they're inside. So, um, side for this, uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, you know what, I'm gonna have to hold on to this with only one hand, and it's gonna be hard for me. Alright, uh, come on, there we go, okay, I'm gonna do it like this, okay, it's open, here we go, I'm gonna put that aside, that's wicked to the core right here. Now, you all know Villainous, but let's bring out the uh, original six. You got Maleficent for the original. Verse six. Maleficent. Ursula. Captain Hook. Yeah, Captain Hook. Queen of Hearts. I hate her. What a bitch. Shafar. Uh, excuse me. And finally. Prince John. There you go. Yeah, we have the original six out. Now, let's take a look at inside of this Wicked to the Core. As you already know, we have the instructions. It is two to three player. Yes, it is now two to three player. Yeah, so, uh, you can tell. And here we go. We have three new villains in this one. Let's take out this first one first. Okay, first of the three is Hades. Wow. Hades is the light blue. <laughs> I gotta say, this, this is totally awesome. Hold on, let me get that one to focus so you can guys can see it. Oh, dog, gonna hang on. Focus, focus, there you go. You can tell by the little bubble. As you can tell, this is light blue. I kind of like it, though. I kind of like it. This is Hades. So that goes with the rest. Now, the Evil Queen. You guys don't know, that's what was on the box. The Evil Queen is this one. The Evil Queen. Look at that. Kind of like a darkish purple, though. Kind of like Ursula's, though, but this one's a little different. It's like kind of like an indigo purple. Was, uh, I, I don't know what the color is. But, but if you guys know, if you guys know, in the movie, what kind of color does she wear yeah, for this piece? Let me guys, let me know in the comments down below. I want to know. That goes there. And finally, the one and only Dr. Facilier. Yes, I had to turn this hat around, so yes, look at this. Wow. I thought it would be Mad Men and Mim color, but nope. I was damn wrong. This here is Dr. Facilier. It's gonna have a little hat, a little coat like that, a little skull, kind of like voodoo, <laughs> and a little feather like that. Yep, that's Dr. Facilier, all right. That's Dr. Facilier. If I put him like that, it's like a hat. Yeah. Here's the rest of the nine. That... Three, six villains plus the expansion of three makes nine. So, let's take a look at the uh, 
board here. So, the evil queen, we have right here. Her line says, I'll be fairest in the land. The evil queen's objective is defeat Snow White. And there are two new things, though. First top of this board is poison, while the other is ingredients. But if you open this up, if you open this up, look at this board. One of them has the fifth title on that one. But that one is a new one, and it's called Brew Poison. Um, I'm going to get to that in later uh, later on. I'm going to get to that later on. Right now, let me take a look at the uh, four other locations. So you got the laboratory. You have the woods, the mines, and... The dwarf's cottage, but hold there is a little description here. Let me get a little zoom in and there we are. And it says here unlocks once four different ingredients have been played. So here's the thing four ingredients. But I'm gonna show you guys in the chiffy okay, once we get the deck out. But I will do that later on. So let's close this ba bad one up. That's the evil queen. I'm going to put it face down. Next is Dr. Facilier. Yes, Dr. Facilier. His objective is... Let me show you the zooming. His objective is collect the talisman and successfully rule New Orleans. Look on the t bottom here. Fortune pile. Sorry if I'm making it a little blurry, but you guys will see it. The fortune pile. Dr. Facilia is the only guy that makes a fortune pile. And this guy's quote says, I got friends on the other side. Well, let's see about that. Oh my god. There are four locations in this one. Yes, here we go. I'll name them. The Voodoo Emporium. That's his thing. The Parade. Tiana's Place. That's the honest restaurant and the bayou. That's uh, that's Dr. Facilius uh <laughs> thing. Okay, so one thing for notice now one thing for notice though, I almost forgot to mention Dr. Facilia has a vanquish action. Where is it? Right here. But let me show you the evil queen. Let me show you. Okay, I got it open. Now, do you guys see any vanquish action of this one? You guys see any? The answer is no. There is no vanquish in this area. There is no vanquish. Oh, no. But you can move a hero. That's where it is. It's, my God. Okay. Does Dr. Facilia has anything? Move a hero or something? In this one? Are there? No, there are no <laughs> move a hero on that one. So I guess uh, Dr. Facilia only has a vanquish action. He does have a vanquish. So, <laughs> wow. Just wow. Okay, let me go ahead and put that down. Put that down. Finally, we have Hades. Okay, Hades' objective is at the uh, start your turn with three Titans at Mount Olympus. Now, I'm not sure about the Titans though, but I'm gonna need the villain's guide in the Jiffy later on. But his quote says, Everybody's got a weakness. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Okay, so, oh my goodness, I don't see Move a Hero as well. Wow! Only the Vanquish action is this one. So the only two villains have Vanquish action is Hades and Dr. Facilier. Wow. Just wow. Okay. That's something. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. The location of this one is the Underworld. That's what you're going to start with by summoning the Titans of some sort. You got Thebes. I don't know what the hell that was. I don't know. T-H-E-B-E-S. Ah, the gardens. 
and Mount Olympus. Yes, Mount Olympus. My God, that is some cool thing. That is Hades right there. That is Hades. Now, on to the decks. I'll be right back with the deck. As you guys know, there are three decks. First one is the Hades. Look at this design. Kind of like the Underworld. You got the flame on top. Wow. The eye. The uh, mortality potion. The, the location where you met Zeus. The Underworld's boat. <laughs> wow. Quite thing. And the symbol right there is the... Uh, hang on. Let me check that. It's the... Ah, oh, it's a skull. It's a skull. Okay. Hey, now, next one. Okay, the Evil Queen is... Wow, look at that. You got the crown, the poison apple, the magic mirror. Oh, wow. Her castle right there. Oh, and there's the box. There's that box right there. There's that box right there. I'll get it for focus. See? Sorry, I'm a little shaky right there. All right, and Dr. Facilia. Wow, look at that. You got a little voodoo symbols. You got it. Shadow spirits. The, <laughs> the mask spirits. And is Kane. Wow, wow. His talisman is hat. Nicely done. And his face, that looks the same, except they are white. Kind of spooky, though, but hey. What do I know? So, here's the thing. Um, let me move these decks uh, so I can get them out of the way. Hades is, you need about five, well, three Titans in the, uh, location. Well, there are two, lo there are two, um, two conditions. Yeah, two conditions. You got Rage, that's one of them, and is there another one? Yeah, there is. Let me put that one down, and it's Ruthless. Hades' conditions are Rage and Ruthless. There's, you guys only saw Ruthless, though, but not the Rage. As you guys know, Hades got the firehead, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put these guys uh, back where it was. So, let me put them back. I will get the... Uh, the Titans out. I'll be right. I'll be right back. Okay. So here are the five Titans I just grabbed out. So the Titans are. Lithos. Yes. Lithos is one of the Titans. One of the five. Hydros. The Hydros. Oh, I don't like this. Pyros. Stratos and Argus. Now, you guys are wondering the Argus one. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys. Now, this guy, oh my god, you guys are wondering, hey, isn't that Bright Eye? Well, yes, in the movie, and no. This here has the official name, it's now Argus. So, let's just put that thing down. So the four we know from Kingdom Hearts series, two of them were, was the main guys, but Kingdom Hearts 3 added those two. I'm very happy with that. I'm very happy. Now, you can choose any three, any three Titans on each, on each one. I'm not sure if the guidebook said so, but if it is, I will let you guys know. Donna, I, I'm gonna have to open this up. up. What up these guys? I, I'm gonna have to open this up, up and tell you the uh, what the villain guys are for Hades. Uh, come on, there we go. Okay, there we go. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, let's grab those three. Let's go with Hades. So, Hades, okay, so, we got five Titans, so we got 
any of those three. Okay. Okay. So, let me see here. Uh, I don't know if that's going to work or not, but I don't know. Is there a note? Was there a note? Is there a note? Is there a note for, uh, Titans or some sort? Let me see here. You must lead at least three Titans at, at Mount Olympus in order to achieve victory. There are five Titans in your deck, and each one has a powerful ability. Huh. Okay. So, it does not matter that if you chose any of three. Okay. Whether you can choose Lithos, Hydros, Pyros, Stratos, and Argus, any of those guys, any of those guys, anyone that's powerful enough. Like, for example, Argus has four, Pyrus has four, Lithos has four, while the other two has three strength. What? Are you kidding me? Like, are you kidding me? But their abilities, their abilities are a lot stronger. <sighs> August is the powerful one. Huh? Now you can gain one power with that one. That's, uh, okay, so that's five titans for you. That's five titans. I'm going to go ahead and put the titans uh, back where it belongs and then I'll uh, go ahead and uh, show you Dr. Facilier's objective. All right, now, Dr. Facilier, I know I want to show you guys a face, but I do not want to waste my time on this video. Now, that'll be the other time. If you want to see the uh, face of the three villains, let me know in the comments down below. And then I will, will do a video of that and see how many how many heroes, items, and effects if I wanted to. Right now, we'll do the villains. So here are the conditions for Doctor Facilier. We have terror and desperation. Yes, I like that picture of desperation, though. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. And then the terror, though. If you guys have nightmares about that one, the terror, though, uh, don't worry. It's just the artwork. I like the artwork, though. I like the artwork. Let me move those guys out of the way. That's two conditions. Now, the objective is for Dr. Facilier, you're going to need the talisman. That's right. The talisman. If you need, you need that talisman in order to rule New Orleans. Which is this one right here. Those are the two. But. But. There is a price. For this one. By using the fortunes though. By using the fortune. It's, if it says to put it in the fortune pile. You can do that. But. I don't know. But let me tell you this. When you try to get these guys out. Okay, if you control the talisman in Dr. Facilio's realm, you know, and rule New Orleans is in the fortune pile, you're gonna need, you're gonna need to play the cards will tell. Yes, the cards will tell. That's what you need to play. Hey, all your allies of your, uh, Dr. Facilio is voodoo, mask, spirits, and shadow, and the shadows, including the shadow man. And though, you gonna need the, the cars with L, but there is a, there's gonna be a cause for this one. Now the talisman says, no, then this one. Each time a hero with a strength of three or less is played in Doctor Facilia's realm, attach the talisman to that hero. You gotta have to defeat the hero with three or less to get it back. It's kind of like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, just like Aladdin. You get the idea. You get the damn idea. I did like that magic though. I did like it. So, uh, let me get these guys out of the way and, uh, we will do Evil Queen and how the objective works. I'll be back. Finally, it comes down to this. The main character of Wicked to the Core is the Wit Evil Queen. 
Now I read the, the uh, this new ability when it says yeah here let me show you what it says about this new ability. It says here brew poison action up. Uh, sorry, it's a little blurry. Let me show you. Come on, camera, focus. Still blurry. Focus. There you go. See, oh, my thumb is in the way, so you guys will read it. Pause it if you like. I don't want to read it to you guys, but pause it if you like. Pause it, and then we'll just continue on. All right, so the Evil Queen's conditions, we have vanity and jealousy. I did find the, je the vanity now. I did find it now. <laughs> I already know what jealousy does. I already know what that does. But vanity, I do not. So with these two, you do whatever you want. You do whatever you wish. But, hey, what do I know? What do I know? What do I know? Anyway, with this objective, you need to find Snow White. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to need two things. The magic mirror and the magic tomes. If I'm correct, wait, uh, let me check. Yeah, she does have two of them, which is the throne and the box. If I'm not mistaken, but I forgot to get that get them out though. I forgot to get them out. Sorry, I dropped the uh, thing here. Yeah, so all I had to do is get two of them out. If I have, if you have magic tomes, which is this one, you can uh, do whatever you wish with your deck. But the magic mirror, if you pay three power. You can find Snow White and play her automatically. Like, doesn't matter where. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Now, for the potion. To become an old, to become a uh, beggar. With the guys. Here we go. Mommy's dust. That's number one ingredient. Number two, black of night. Number three, an old hag's cackle. And number four, the scream of fright. Now, these four ingredients, you're going to need one of each at the same <laughs> You can need one of each. If you do duplicates, there is a card that you can cheat. But, just these four. You know what I mean. When all four of them is done, and the dwarves' cottage is unlocked, that's the objective is, you're gonna brew some poison. Like, when you have a a number of poison that you need for Snow White, you're going to use, take a bite. Take a bite. That's what I like. Um, yeah. That's what's going to happen there. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. That's what you got to do in order to win the game. Use, take a bite when you have Equal of a number of poison to the hero, which is Snow White. If, you, if she has more, more than you, the poison that you just have, that's not enough for your for you to kill Snow White. That's for uh, that's for the others, like dwarfs or some sort, you know. And there you have it. But let me put the uh, guys and the, the deck back where it was. So I will show you where that lock is. I'll show you that later. Hold on. So yeah, that that's it. That's it for the reveal of these three new villains. Dr. Facilia, Hades, and the Evil Queen. Now, now uh, if you find this box that looks like this, 
this. I did look. It says here. Let me get it. Come on. Come on, camera. You better focus on this one. There you go. It is a standalone game, or you can mix with other villains. The contents of this one is 90 villain cards, 45 fate cards, 42 tokens. Wait, 42 tokens? How many tokens? I guess I must have, uh... Oh, yeah, the lock and the, um, fate token. And Well, 40 is the power. Okay, now I know. Three reference cards, three villain guides, and then instructions. And so, just be sure you use this. Just take a look on the top. Read it if you like. So, yeah, that's it. That's, that's it, though. That's it. I, uh... No, you can use these three to stand alone, or you can mix with other villains, like these guys, for example. So, let me uh, put them, uh, uh, all three, and each one. Um, I can go ahead and put them guys there if I wish. So, uh, here you go. You can do that. That against the guy. So, so if you want to do nine players, uh, you can mix it up a notch. If you wanted to, you can mix it up. So, that's how it works. So, um, I don't see how these rules are gonna break that. But hey, what do I know? What do I know? You can make it much more time as you want. You you can play as a villain as you wish, whatever. But whatever. So that's it. I am Derek. Signing off. See ya. Oh, one more thing. Before I go, time to take a look. Look at that. Some six villains up here. With three villains down there. You got yourself. As I move the camera upwards. Nine villains. Yes, nine villains. All right, that's it, guys. That's all I got to give you to show you guys. Uh, if I can do it with threes, I might have to try. I don't know. Anyway.